What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back. We are a little tired, as you can see. From travel. From travel. We got the back late last night. Travel tired. We got back from our lake Michigan. again. We went out of town for the 4th of July to our friend's lake house in Michigan. It was super fun. So we fun. We kind of like logged off of uh, the internet, which was really nice for a bit. It was really needed. It was necessary. It was nice to like not take the vlog camera with us, not take our computers and like edit and just like check out. Yeah. It was really so. great. Um, very summery and cute. Smokey loved it. But we have shit to do. We're home and we got lots of things that we need to get done. So we're on our way to the paint store because we are painting our primary bedroom. Yes. Um, and we need to pick out a paint color. So some backstory is we actually are partnering with the paint company uh, over on Instagram to paint our primary bedroom. And we've been wanting to do some changes to our primary bedroom anyway. So we're like, let's use this partnership as an opportunity to jumpstart the process of changing some things in our bedroom. Yeah. Um, but I would say the one battle we're facing right now, uphill battle, challenge, is our drapes are already in, right? right? So a lot of times you paint, then choose drapes off paint, all that kind of stuff. This time it's kind of backwards. Yeah. We got the drapes done. Um, and then now this opportunity to paint our room, we're like, let's do it. We want to get maybe some new nightstands at some point. You know, just redo some things. I think the nightstands look fine. We need new lamps. I think the nightstands look fine. You're the one that's been telling me. No, they're fine. Things. I know. I just need the storage. We also still have these if we need to take those back mm -hmm. up. You know? Um, I prefer vintage but ones, but yeah. I know we're having them cap those lights that come down. Yeah. What if we just find cool lights before next week? Mm-hmm. And what I'm thinking is like instead of having them hang all the way down, they like stop like halfway. Yeah. So you can still have those lights plus like lamps. Okay. Because the other, I think prefer just lamps. I don't really. And, like and just cap them look. entirely. Kinda. I've all I've been I just have this vision for like more of like a baskety, not necessarily like weave woven lamp, but like okay something that adds like a. Um, more natural texture in there. Okay, then let's order them online and get it Just find something. I don't know. We don't have to. Just I've been envisioning that, that since we bought cute. the place of like something that's like. I know what you're talking about. Not farmy, but like something that adds like more organic organic material in the room. Yeah. So I don't know. We can I know what you mean. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're we're glad to be back, and um, let's jump to it. We're going to Sherwin Williams to pick out some paint yeah, color. Sherwin Williams. Here we come. Okay, here we are. Heart Sherwin Williams. We're thinking a couple different options. Cream color, a taupey mauve, and then we're gonna see what else catches our eye. So we're like open. A, like a mustard. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Where is there's a color called smoky beige that we liked? LOL. Okay. These ones are more pink. Like interface tan, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, I feel like we kind of want the same color. Yeah. Um, okay. What is that font color? This was the color that we came oh God, up with on the app, and it's called Smoky Beige. It looks kind of brown, though, on there, doesn't it? Like, we kind of want more pull, of a. I think it'll pull gray. I know. We should also get those big samples on if they have those. But like, see how these hold tan? Like, interface tan, it, it's tan, but it's not like that warm. Yeah, that is like warm. It's like the warm colors. Yeah. What's weird is with this being classic sand. That looks just like it, uh, skin color. I know. Well, I was going to say, it, it does have that pink hue to it. Yeah. But I feel like if it's all on the wall, it'll just look like beige. Like if you're Me gonna too. go this route, you might as well just go one of these two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. All right, we're looking at these right now, and obviously those are no too yellowy, peachy. This one looks darker on camera. Oh, it's weird looking at these on camera because it looks so different. Wow, it looks so much different on there. I know. It looks brown. Yeah, I still like these, and they're much softer in person. They're more like. Pillowy. Yeah, this looks definitely way peachier than totally. So no, and that looks too gray. gray. But it's still pretty. The it's undertone. Nice. Yeah. I'm still interested. It's more I like feel purple. Like this is pulling more of the 
mauve we want yeah and that's pulling more of like is a there something right in between or is like that better right in between there maybe i don't know all right we got our samples our samples a couple paint brushes a couple paint brushes and we're gonna go test them all right we're home and just kind of tidying up um hunter is putting up the baby gate that has been sitting there we probably had that thing sitting there for like two months and we need to put it up because of point in case right here so finally getting around to it um and i'm excited to get that up booker's home come here booker booker's home bookie bookie hey smug you want to come draw this for booker <laughs> you just want to be with dad you love to be a part of projects Oh, let me do a little PR haul because I just unboxed all of my stuff and I put it on TikTok, but I figured I could just show it here too. I got two new trucker hats from this brand called Ascot and Heart. It's um, out of Texas. And I have to give credit to this girl, Wit, who I follow on TikTok. She has really cute style and she is like the trucker hat queen and she wears this brand, so that's how I discovered it. Um, so love that i'm excited i bought these two to start my collection they're both camo i went real hard on that but i'm liking the like gritty like not tacky but like grungy middle america vibe do you know what i mean um i also got some like a huge ass order in from free people and i'm just obsessed with this necklace that i picked out it's so cool on, let me just take the bubble wrap off look how cute you guys <gasps> for summer i'm really i feel like chunky jewelry is kind of starting to come back um and there's just so many cute little styles and i just died for this i was like this is the literal cutest thing i've ever seen and i love the colors <gasps> so cute um and i have a full box of free people i'm gonna do probably like a try on haul but it's like a big box so um i need to work on that but i don't turn right now I also got some new PJs from In My Sundays. Oh, sorry, Booker. Um, they dropped a new summer collection. These ones are really cute with like strawberries on them. Some new dibs glosses. Very excited about these in a nude color. Oh my God, I love the nude. I'm a nude gloss girl, so I'm very excited about this shade. It's called Kiss Me Quick. Um, so their glosses are really good and you know this is my code julia for 15 percent off of dips whenever and then some new atlas gray basics for smoke that they sent over always use my code julia with them my code is pretty much julia for everything but they make the best slashy socks some olive ones all the fall tones coming in i can't believe fall is like coming you guys it scares me black and then they just came out with like new toddler pjs just solid basic colors they are like make really really good um quality baby clothes and um they are worth every penny i've saved all of their stuff it was like my favorite clothes when smoke was a baby because they just look like higher quality and they're like more put together just the fabrics are really nice and everything um black gray beige just all the solids so they're really good for like basic solid minimal stuff anyways okay so those are some things we got stay tuned for a free people haul on another platform probably i don't know if i'll get to that in this video maybe i will can you throw the ball for booker throw it good job smoke good can you say hi This one looks so cute with your outfit. I love it. Oh, I also got a new phone charm string from Osa, New York, whatever. I ordered this. I have been seeing a lot of people with these phone straps, and I was like, you know what? That is honestly so practical, um, especially if you're a mom. Like, throw it over your arm. And they're just so cute. They look pretty. And there's this really cute one with shells on it. And I just loved it for summer. So I went, went ahead and made the plunge. It's kind of like fun. It's like jewelry for your phone. What are you doing? Looking in that box for goodies? Ah! Ah! I know. Ah. Tell me. He loves Octo Buddies. He's obsessed ah. with the one on my phone. 
He like pushes on it all the time. <laughs> so he's gonna love that. Okay. Dad has finished that, so we're gonna read a view at the zoo. Rise and shine, attention please. Monkeys, get down from those trees. Wake your cubs up, Mrs. Bear. Mr. Lion, comb that hair. Elephant, please wipe your nose. Pink flamingos on your toes. Can you turn the page? All giraffes, please stand up straight. That's more like it. You look great. Turn the page. All is ready. Come on in. Let the day of fun begin. My, what silly things they do. All these creatures at the zoo. Walking on all kinds of feet. Dancing to an inner beat. You want to turn the page? Babies riding on their backs. On their bellies, snug in sacks. Hear the silly sounds they speak as they howl and squawk and shriek. See them prance and primp and preen, trying to stay neat and clean. This is your friendly reminder to wash your water bottle, whether Stanley, Hydro Drug, whatever. Hunter and I actually recently discovered you can take all of the parts apart on the Hydro Drug lid um, and like, Every time we would look in, we were like, oh my God, that needs to be cleaned. Like, I'm not even kidding, every week. So now we like completely deconstruct it, put it in the dishwasher and everything. So we just completely sanitize and clean our hydro jugs. Um, so I'm doing a fresh water for the day. Try to drink two to three of these a day and they're 40 ounces. Um, and I'll throw in some electrolytes. I'll throw in my Armra, which my code is actually back for Armra. So I wanted to let you guys know. I'll have all the info down below in the description box, but this is basically, it's not exactly like a supplement or anything. It's like a actual bioactive whole food. So think uh, like collagen on crack. This is 100% grass fed colostrum, which is basically like what all mammals produce after they give birth. And it is filled with so many nutrients. This is the most sustainably sourced colostrum that you will find in the US. Um, from 100% grass-fed cows, like I said. So the source is really great. And the nutritionist I worked with also uh, said that Armra was amazing and really well sourced. So it's a good stuff, definitely. You just do three to four scoops in your cold beverage of choice. Um, you don't wanna put this in a hot beverage because it will sort of like cancel out some of the amazing benefits in the colostrum. So I would make sure it's always in cold water. I just throw it in my water. I do the unflavored, you can't even taste it if I'm gonna like mix it with some sort of electrolyte or something, but they also make killer flavors, you guys. The flavors on their website taste so good. I already went through my watermelon, my peach, like they come out with like really fun limited edition ones and they taste amazing. And I, I literally get addicted to them, but I've already gone through all of those. So now I'm on the unflavored, which is fine. Um, and you can have more than three to four scoops a day if you want because it's a, a bioactive whole food. Um, so, you know, have at it. What I like about this is that it really supports like the immune system, the gut barrier, your gut strength, everything. But it also is like incredible for like your skin, your hair, your nails, your immunity. It's kind of just like an all in one. I feel like it just replaces a lot of like all of these like little things that you feel like you need to take, like collagen over here and your green juice and your, you know, all your little things. Um, this is pretty like power packed with a lot of nutrients and I feel like it's a little bit more like holistic um it really helps with bloating you'll just again see your skin hair and nails glowing um hopefully not getting sick as often all stuff like that it's just like the good good this stuff is liquid gold i'll leave all the info below huge armor fans i think there's a reason why it's gone viral on tiktok like people are obsessed they stand for this and this is also bobby approved which you guys know we're big bobby fans over here so anything he stands by i'm like okay i'm on the right track Good morning, everybody. Just making up a steak. It's 7:20. Uh, our nanny's coming today at eight. She usually comes at eight. For a lot of the 8:15 workout, we're gonna try to get back on a regular schedule after being back from our trip. Going to the 8:15 workout. 
or 8.30 workout and then um, in the day rolling. But we did pretty good in Michigan for the 4th of July from a health perspective, like with our eating. Granted, we did have like some alcohol and uh, veered off our normal standard of eating a little bit, but still pretty, stayed pretty close to it. But anyways, wanting to hit it hard again and just go like super, super, super clean. Um, I wanna go back really hard carnivore, get my body feeling right. My eye is feeling much better, but it's still like 50% blurry. So I wanna get that fixed and just call it, get all inflammation down from alcohol and you know, stand up later than normal. Just get our body feeling rested again. So anyways, I'm making a steak. I'm gonna quit blabbering. Make some steak and eggs for breakfast. Nanny gets here, our cleaning lady's coming today. And we have a lot of work to catch up on. Stuff for the cabin, stuff for our businesses, and um, yeah, just like house projects. So, I think we'll probably test some paint today too. So we'll see what we get into. But anyway, just wanna give y'all a quick update and say good morning. By the way, seeing smoke on the lake was the cutest thing ever. And it was just like so wholesome and sweet. And it made us so, so, so excited for our farm property. Um, it's gonna be hard not to like wanna move into the cabin. I know we're gonna want to, but I think for our ultimate plan and desire of like going the direction we wanna go, I think we really wanna be down in the area where our farm is and just have the property for smoke and for us and just like the fun family lifestyle and projects we'll have and just like the space and I think we're so so excited for the farm so obviously the cabins first and um, we're excited for that project itself and to see it come to life and all the fun that we're having with designing it and the renovation and seeing it come together but um, I imagine at this point we'll probably forego living in it we'll see um, I imagine we'll go ahead and sell it and begin the next project, which is the farm. So I think that that's just like so appealing to us and we just can't wait to get down there. And all the memories we'll make down there and we'll probably have like a second kid at the time that we're moving down there. I bet we'll have a second, yeah, I mean, we're probably not gonna be able to get down there for two years. So we'll definitely have a second kid by then, hopefully, God willing. But anyway, yeah, that's just where our head's been since the lake house. In Michigan it was just like so relaxing so soothing and granted we did take off work and stuff for the few days that we were down there which made it more relaxing and like rejuvenating for us but it was just I don't know just seeing us and smoke and like a natural element of being outside and by the water and exploring property and going on walks and I we're just so stoked for that but anywho that's where our mind's at right now Breakfast is ready. Well, the steaks are finishing up in the oven. Morning, Juge. Morning. And Smokey's rolling around, so we're gonna wake him up. Yeah. It's one, one of my favorite parts of the morning right now. So walking into his bedroom, and he stands up, and he's like, I'm here, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Good morning. Who is it? Is someone awake? Yay, hi, baby. Good morning, Baba. Have a good night's sleep. You see Booker down there? Look, Booker wants to say hi to you. Are you hungry for breakfast? We're making breakfast. Wanna come eat with us? Uh, bah, bah. Uh, oh, so sweet. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast. All right. Later in the evening, we are grilling out. You guys, we decided to grill and then we were walking out and it started raining and we're like, we're committing, we're just doing it. Smokey's holding a banana pill while mom feeds him a banana. Mm. And yeah, we're making some chicken wings from Costco and I'm making a steak as well. Oh, we had these chicken wings in Michigan and they're so good. They're the garlic seasoned wings from Costco and they're delicious. Delicious. I might have half a steak tonight and save the other half for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. I loved the steak this morning. That was so they good. were good, huh? Yeah. The little really reverse good. here in the oven. Really, that's like probably my favorite um, breakfast. So good. 
What do you think, bud? Ah. Yum, 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 yum. Of course, trying to do something spontaneous and fun. <laughs> Starts raining. Nice. It is what it is. Oh, and if y'all are wondering where we are, we're like this grill, fire pit, and like sitting areas. It's our little community spot for all the townhomes in our little community. There's 10 of them and we all share this. So it's kind of perfect. Here are the wings. We got the steak. It's looking gorgeous. Oh, yay! Splash, splash, splash! Yay! Wow! <laughs> we love water. All right, we're all wet. Are fire. wet. The wings <coughs> are fire. Hunter's opening steak. Yeah. Mm, wow. Beautiful. Perfection. All right. Installed this new baby gate today. We got it on Etsy. It's a custom oak uh, baby gate and custom. Um, you send them the measurements and they make the exact measurement for you So we got this one here. It looks super nice and then we have one going down into our basement on that side. So this whole floor um, Is baby proof from a stair standpoint like he can't go down the stairs over there or up the stairs over here um, So we're excited about that. We'll probably put one Maybe up there at some point. We'll see. We'll, we're trying to figure it out We're gonna do like one at a time depending on I guess situationally as he gets older and uses different spaces. But right now, this floor is baby proof from a stair standpoint. We'll probably baby proof the cabinets pretty soon because he's starting to open the cabinets in the kitchen. And just don't want him like pulling any pans out onto his feet or anything like that. Right now it's only like one specific cabinet that has diapers in it and he pulls them all out. So we just want to get ahead of that before something happens. Anyways, it's bath time. Smokey! Hello! Okay, Smokey's in his new little pajamas. They're a little tight so on the chunk cute. legs, but we love them. Oh that God. color is gorgeous oh. on you. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> like little leggings. <laughs> this is so cute. This is beautiful Let's pajamas. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! <laughs> Where's Smokey? Where's Smokey? This is his favorite book. Can you ready for Night Night Farm? Walk to Night Night Farm. Walk to Night Night Farm. I'm trying to get him to walk. Come on, you can do it. Go. Right here. Grab my hand. Go. Good yeah. job! See, you can do it. You're so big. You just don't think you can. <laughs> You're so big. Just a little newborn. Gosh. It's crazy. I mean, it's so depressing when your kids leave, leave the house after 20 years. You're probably so excited for them to go to like to experience college and stuff, but yeah. you're probably so excited for them to leave. Well, it's think about as big of an adjustment it is to have kids, then for them to leave. Like become empty nesters. Yes. Or just like even not even empty nesters, but like even when your first one goes. So sad. We're one eighteenth of the way there. I can't wait for him to watch like Tarzan and Peter Pan and like all those Disney movies. I know. It'll be like movie night, popcorn. La, la, la. Popcorn and snacks. What his favorite's gonna be? I know. I bet he likes Lion King. Yeah. He's gonna like Lion King. Really good Alright y'all. We're gonna put this little munchkin to bed. Finish up routine. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. On Love Island on the couch. How'd you escape? Mom's still reading to you. The moon and stars are shining bright. Settle down and switch off the light. All huh. is quiet and all is calm. Night, night, sleepyhead. Night, night, far. Bye bye, night, night. Good night, Smokey. Good night, we love night, you. Night. Up to the gym.
clockwork. Clockwork. Cardio diet's gonna be hard. Oh, I hope it's not red line. Oh my god. So hard. So, so hard. It, what is it? Does it say what it is on the app? Let's check. Good night's sleep? So rested? Pretty good. I could use more. I need to go to bed earlier than 11. That's my problem. I hit my record on the cold plunge this morning of four and a half minutes. That's right. But it's because, mostly because, one, I was humming and singing to distract myself and help time pass by faster. That's a good hack. And secondly, because I couldn't see the time because my eye is still blurry. I couldn't see the little time on my phone. And I wasn't sure what time it was, so like I just kept pushing myself and like starting songs over in my head. Yeah. And then by the time I was like, okay, it's, it, I was like, it must be at least three minutes. And I looked up and it was four and a half minutes. Wow. So, so long. Yeah. Might never matter. But anyways, did that. Took a little walk in the sun with Booker. To warm up. To warm up. And then I came in and you and Smokey were alive and well. Looks kind of funny today. It's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be sunny? Sunny after like... 9.30. Um, we have yeah. a good day. I feel like we haven't had like a good solid few weeks where we've been at home consistently. I know. And I feel like just the past Exciting. two days we were able to knock out a lot of yeah. like grunt work. I know. So we can focus on other things. I know. We didn't vlog any of us cleaning, but we were cleaning a ton yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we were able to get like a lot of the cabin stuff done. We're checking through a checklist of a bunch of things. We still, I probably got through like five things yesterday, but I still have about 15 more to go. I know. We have a, um, I feel like the framing is being done on the cabin. And so we have our next wave of like meetings where we're like finalizing a lot of stuff. It's actually, I feel like going quicker than I thought. I mean, obviously it's like a nine month to a year process, but I feel like we're already like two months in and like we're gonna have a roof pretty soon. It's just like surprising how fast it goes, but then I'm sure it'll slow down on the back half. But I feel like he's moving pretty quick. Yeah, they're on top of it. I feel like his focus is on this project. Yeah, and we just need to make sure all the pieces are ordered. The hardest part is like all the little light fixtures, tiles, wood, stone, like all those little things. But well, that's the fun part. Just in the planning phase are the architectural plans and like that whole process over the past year and a half or so. It just seemed like we'd never be to the finish line. Yeah. And we're still not close to the finish line. But we're at the start of the race now for the first time. Yeah. So just prep, like it feels like we're in motion and things are moving and it's just like exciting to see things taking place. It's so fun. Um, and now it feels like we're that much closer to the finish line, if that makes sense. Yes. I, I, it's in sight, you know what I mean? Like I can see sight. that like Wait, We should bring them there after the gym because you guys, they, they started putting the framing for the front patio of the stairs and like you can see the vision because it's like, it's basically like framed out. So like you could see the structure of like, now it'll make more sense for you to be even be able to see the vision of what it's gonna look like. Yeah. It's like a box basically of all the shapes and everything that we designed. Well, they've poured all the new foundation and they've started a little bit of the framing. They framed yeah. in like the front steps to pour that concrete as well. But um, yeah, it's coming together. It's looking so good. I don't want to live there. I know. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and forth. It's so cute. I feel like we're going to have like a, um, a strong desire and pull to live there. Yeah. But I feel like from a... Like, I want to figure out how we can just, like, detach ourselves from it and see it as just, like, a... I know. It's, like, a business project. A business pro project. But it's, like, we're going to pick every finish and every I little know. thing but perfect. we can get attached so to any project we work on, you know? And this is just a first... I'm not I'm not trying to talk us out of it. I, I, I'm open. Yeah. But if we want to get down to the farm, we skip the cabin. Yeah. And wh why, you may ask? Financially. Because we're putting a lot of our capital into this cabin and we'll want that capital out press the profit in order to pursue the farm if that makes sense yes which um, we're so excited about i think we showed you all in the previous video that we had to tear like the a big chunk of the center section of the house out so we still kept like the cabin walls but everything else that was like uh, an addition from like 30 40 years ago that was non-cabin structure we had to tear all that down because of some structural issues that that structural and foundational issues that the builder was facing so he made the executive decision just to like knock all that out it would save money it would save time and it'd be more efficient from a rebuild perspective 
with that, we had the ability to go back to our architect and make some changes to our architectural plans because we weren't limited by the current wall structures that were already there. So we made some fun changes. I think we told you all that. But with that, our window order was already placed. Right. And so that's one thing I remember yesterday you evening is I need to add, I think it's like eight windows. Okay. And we need to figure out what to do with the other six Are windows. Are those plans like them. printed or? Uh, yeah, oh. they, they've sent them to us. Well, those are things that are like easy to forget. Open tabs, I know. Oh, yeah, you should take a note a list. A lot of them, I did, I made a huge note list. Love Island USA talk, let's chat Love Island USA. That show is a shit show, you guys. I mean, talk, I actually feel like it just picked up. Like, for me, what cost them more was the turning point. Well, like no, I, I mean, there really, was so much drama before that, but the drama was like annoying. I'm like, okay, these people are, I just feel like immature, whatever. Well, not all of them, but the girls mainly. Um, and now I really like, there. I finally feel like I like some of the characters and I like, who's the, uh, Rob, I love Rob. Rob, and you like Kendall and his Kendall, girl? Nicole, and um, who's Rob's girlfriend? Um, She's from Casa, but I won't ruin with, it. Uh, Aaron. Anyways, we watched the movie night last night, is like the first half of it. And I swear to you, my heart was like, I mean, I'm racing. I was exhausted watching just all of the drama and everything. I'm like, oh my God. It's but almost cringe to watch. It is almost cringe to watch. But even how do you think they feel like sitting there watching it? I know. Um, even, yeah, even the people, my favorite characters. Even the people on the show that you don't like, you feel bad when they like, I know. look super stupid. On well, Hunter and I are saying, we're like, gosh, imagine if like everything that you said behind closed doors is like projected on a screen. I mean, that would be just like really hard. Not only having to relive that with people in your in the house, but it's like in front of the world. I know. And you just, you know, we all say things all the time that we don't mean. You talk shit, you whatever. Um, and just that setting is like not normal to be having, to be replayed and everything. So I can't imagine what toll it takes on you mentally, but um, it's good. So we're watching that. It's been fun to have at night. Anyways, okay. I'm going to the gym. Oh, all right, y'all. Workout's complete. Workout check. It's we're, hard si one. we're sitting in front of the cabin, um, and we wanted to show you guys a few of the exciting updates starting to take shape. I feel like each week there's like a fun little thing to show. Um, so a couple areas that'd be really exciting. For yeah. You guys to see. I think I said a second ago they poured the foundation, so you can kind of really see like the map of the house right now, ground level, and now they're starting the framing. Building is just cr a crazy process. It takes a lot of patience, it's you know. Crazy. I like it though, it's fun. Oh, look, they're pouring, I think they're pouring the, oh, they put the steps. On back? On the porch. Yeah, no, no, they're I know. They're full. Nice. Nice. Okay, All go. right. So here is the front patio porch situation. It's already been poured. You can kind of start to get the idea. These are gonna be big steel doors all right there. And then we've got a nice big extended porch with some cool stairs coming down, which they just poured. Very exciting. This will be all stone pavers. This will be stone, which will be so pretty. This and will all be stone. This will be covered in stone. And that side of the house will be stone. And that side of the house will be stone. And then this is the cabin part that we are keeping fully historic, which is really cute. Um, so I think it's going to look really good together. Just amping it up a little bit. This is going to be sweet. And then they also extended the back porch. So it's like both of the porches are being complete. So we'll show you what that looks like. Here is the back. So the old patio in the back used to be that little red curved situation and basically extended it. We're making it a little bit more modernized. Um, and I think we're gonna do the same like level down steps here, but we have to tell them that we wanna add those on just so it's a nice like graduation into the backyard, which I think will be really pretty. Um, and then they're building the fireplace over there right now. Yeah, that's it's one change we actually out. made recently is the fireplace was like in the room. And now it's going to pop out. To pop it out outside of the room so the front of the fireplace is flush with the wall. Yeah. Inside, if that makes sense, instead of like taking up space in the room itself. Exactly. Um, you can kind of see where this fireplace would be too. Yeah, you can definitely see where that fireplace is going to be right there. You know what I'm saying? Like the framing on the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be so pretty. Ah, I'm excited. 
Okay, so right there is where the new garage has been added. They already poured the concrete two car garage, which we didn't have before, and there's lots of storms in Tennessee, so that was hard not having garage space. So there's a garage there. This, you'll walk in from the garage here, and this is gonna be a mud room, just some cabinets landing, and then you'll turn it into a door, and this will be the laundry room. Then you go through this door into the pantry, and this will be cabinets, and then you walk through the door here, and then you're in the kitchen and the living room, this front door. So that's kind of how the layout's working out right now. I know it's hard to envision, but it's gonna be great. Look how much taller the, the height of the door's gonna be, like the, the ceiling. So much better. Versus like, remember it was like three quarters down, or it one was, quarter it down, was like a hobbit house. and it had a small little door. And yeah. it was pulled forward to where this little cinder block was. Yeah. So like, bigger space. It's gonna be gorgeous. And I'm glad we pushed the living room back to here. Like that, this yeah. is what the living room is. Like look at that. That's I know. Size. Yeah, added like, how many feet onto the living room? Um, I mean, At least. we recently added another four feet, but we also previously added five feet in the front. So, probably like nine or 10 feet total. It's great. Um, a big change we made. I know we mentioned it in a previous vlog how now you can open the front doors and see all the way through the back of the house. Yes. So initially, the fireplace, old fireplace used to be, it used to be right here in the middle. Yeah. And we decided to push the fireplace to this wall. So you're looking at wall. it from the kitchen? Yeah. From the kitchen island. I think it's pretty. And then we made a hallway in the middle and put up on the side where it used to be. It's now right down the middle, going to the backyard. You go from the living room. You, you can right see all the way through to the backyard, which will be The so staircase cool. used to be coming from the living room as well, the initial plans. Yes. But we wanted to open up the space in the living room where, basically like when you have so many hallways and pathways in the living room, it shrinks the amount of space in the middle where you can have furniture. Yeah. For my eyes closed. Um, so we moved the staircase out of the living room into the hallway. Which is perfect. It all makes sense. But yeah. Right Stairs, now. powder bath. A cute little nook hallway and then we put some art on the walls and then you go back into the den which is like kind of like a den playroom area it's a smaller living room and then out to the beautiful this backyard. Is still a big room in here. Yeah it is still big. I think that makes it this out this way. I think it would be a great playroom personally speaking but yeah. all right it's time to test our paint colors y'all. Okay I thought we would do it in an area like one next to the curtains because I want to see it next to the curtains. The camera. And then also in an area where there's not a like here, who's gonna? Look I think it was stacked one, two, three, yeah, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, well, maybe up there. I just want to waste <laughs> waste time. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't want to spend like two hours on this. We're not absolutely not. We have shit to do. Um, okay. This one's abalone shell. Wait, are we doing it over here? This is the lightest one. I have to record it. It's the lightest of the four. And I'm just gonna take the lid over there. It looks like baby pink. <laughs> oh no. Which one's this? The lightest. This is sachet? No, abalone. Oh, abalone. Yeah, it looks like literal blush pink. It doesn't look bad though. Okay, next color is a little bit more warm. So. Hey, go, go light to dark. Yeah, yeah. This is sachet sand, that's the next one, right? So. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty pink too. They just look pink, they don't look they, like- They'll dry. Okay. They don't look like that terracotta kind of color we're going for. Oh no, no, that? no, no. Sachet. This is gonna be a long process. That's better, actually. So sachet. Okay, wait. Should I do sandbank or arctic next? Do sandbank. Okay, that's more like it, but that's too dark, don't you think? Yeah, that's more like it's less pink and it's more brown. The swatches don't look anything like the brown colors. Because it needs to dry.
Okay, here's the three main colors. The fourth one is, I think it's just too purple, but we just wanted to try it just for shits and giggles. It's actually pretty, but I don't think it's what we're going for. Um, this is kind of what we're going for. We wanted like a, almost a terracotta, like do you see the warm color in the carpet? That's kind of Mauve the color we were thinking. Pink. Yeah, those are two like pink, like blush pink. That is more but like the second one warm. Bad, the one you did. What? That not it's not bad. bad. We could almost like mix them. You know, the, the the first one would get, like would pull more like blush. Yeah. Like it would be lighter when the whole room's got color. Yeah. Right now you're comparing it to a white wall. I know, so like, I know. If, if it whole, looks totally if, different. It, it would be more of like a creamier blush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. I just don't want it to be too clay. Should we just like, maybe do a less saturation on that like you can switch this sh the saturations on paint colors like you can do 75 percent saturation so it's not as like rich pungent because that's the right tone i just feel like that would be like we'd walk in and we'd be like oh shit i, I, I don't want to pull maroon or red that's what i'm saying i'm like maroon. scared it's gonna literally look red i kind of like the blush you do Kinda. Oh, I never thought I'd think that you would like, Yeah, if I were like a girl, I would totally paint my room that color. But it, it doesn't. I mean, I am a girl, but. You know. Because it, cause I'm thinking about when the whole room is that color, it won't pull like pink. Well, it, I feel like if that's the case, then maybe the second color is the best. Because it's a little bit more. Like, look at it with the drapes. And try to envision like the whole room that color. It'll be like more of like a creamy blush versus like I know that this feels like pottery clay I know um I think that's kind of what we were going for no I know I don't want to be too brown I know which one is that like, or like where's those red. little cards at Can we put a purple up here sure the purple's more cool sound we, were pur we chose some nice colors I think so too Okay, there's the four colors. We counted that one out. We counted that one out. It feels too purple. This color and that color are what we're going for. This one's pulling a little bit more brown. We're leaning towards this one. But we're going to go see if they can pull some of the pigment out of that one. Yeah, so basically, I like the brown one the best. I like the tone of this, but it's too rich and dark. Like, So we basically want it just to give this tone, but really like a hint, kind of like that. So we're like, does this give the same feel or is it too pink? God, it's really hard. Y'all, this on camera, it is not doing it justice no, it on the colors. Totally it looks so different on, on camera. These feel, that feels way darker on camera. But we do like this tone. We're back from the paint store and we went and we got our favorite color. It's called Sandbank but we did 50% saturation because we basically want that exact tone, but we just want it to be lighter. Here so, I'm just putting it on right now. It's looking pretty much like sachet. The, yeah. Sachet? Sante. Don't you think? Yeah. Here, let's go like this. It is basically the same. Yeah, put it next to it. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. It still looks kind of dark. <laughs> Joy's been singing. Wow. No, you started singing it. Oh man. Fuck it, Anna. Ma. It's that one. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for the paint color to dry, so I'm getting ready. About to do my hair, get ready for the day. Um. I'm nervous about this paint color because I just don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm not nervous, but it's just like not a small thing to paint your whole place. Normally I'm like with decisions and stuff, I'm like, let's go. But for some reason with the paint, I'm like, oh my God, what if I hate it? And I feel like it's just such a big risk, but whatever, YOLO, we'll figure it out. It's all trial and error. Um, by the way, I just going to let you guys know if you ever want to use my dibs code and always have it in the description box down below 
um, Julia, always on 15%. Like once a month or so, they'll bump it up to 20, but it's usually 15. Right now I'm in shade four. Um, I use that bronzer side and then I use this side three for the blush of shade three. So those are my two favorite colors. If you're not as tan as me, I would do shade three. That's like my winter color but summer is four, so the three on blush side is really, like kind of just light, to see how it kind of blends. And then I layer the powders over top. Anyways, it's perfect. Um, okay, current lip color is always Nude Truffle by NYX, and then a Nude Gloss. This one is Kiko Cosmetics. I literally get it on Amazon. I'm gonna do freckles. Just my everyday summer makeup. The blushes though, the dibs, powder blushes, I layered two. Backstage and Starstruck. They're the go-to. I have my um all of my like exact combo I just did on my Instagram under like my dibs highlight. If you want it like the exact tutorial, but it makes you look so tan and like summer girl. I just love how warm and like cozy and toasty it looks it looks so toasty and i'll use a little bit of that on my eyes i just love they're really like lightweight too so they're easy to blend how's those pink colors looking babe excuse me you look like you love me you look like you want me gotta get my nails done they are so grown out oh my god so grown out um but i literally have never loved a nail color more than this color i mean i swear to you every other color i'd be like no it's not it and i'd be like i'm going back to neutral like this has literally inspired me i'm like i'm having bright nails from now on i love the color and literally I don't know what it is, but no matter what color I wear, like, it looks fire with blue, it looks good. Any bright color I wear, it looks good with it. Like, it doesn't clash with anything. I don't know what it is. If it's, like, the orange-red tone or what. I don't like the classic red as much. I like this, like, bright orange-red. That's the one. I think it also is, like, fitting for my skin tone, but it looks good on pretty much everybody. I feel like red nails is just, like, trending right now, but, um... I just think it's such a nice color and every time I look down at them I'm so happy and when I wear outfits it's like truly an access like another accessory it's like a pop of color and I have just never been happier than nail color I think I'm gonna get the exact same one but just get them refreshed so that's the tea on the red orange nails they're amazing okay let's check out these pink colors okay so I think it's basically the exact same as sachet sand it's literally blending, Hunter. This is the new color. Can you see the difference between those two? Barely. No, it's like literally that. All right, I went back to Sherwin Williams and I got a few more samples of the different colors that we like at different saturation levels. So I got the darker sand bank, moved it down to 25% saturation. And then I got the sachet, which is the next darker one. And I got that at 50% saturation. So. We're letting those dry and we're going to play around with it and see which one we like better. But we definitely are liking the direction we're going quite a bit. I know Julie's a little nervous. The lighting's better now on yeah. camera. Yeah, come here look. Oh yeah, it looks pretty. Now you guys can kind of see. Well, let us know what you think and we'll surprise you in the next vlog. With, with what we went with. Back. Yeah, that sand bank. That, You're going to confuse them. That's 50% sand bank. Sachet. That right there, going up and down, is 25% sand bank. And then that is 50% sachet. I don't know. But nonetheless, we're gonna let them dry for the next hour and we'll make our pick. Let us know what y'all think. Which one of these y'all like? Also, just remember the whole room will be painted that color, so it won't look as dark because it won't be against a white wall. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about paint. Anyways, we love you guys. We'll see y'all next time. Adios. I gotta go.